Yo, yo, what's good with a YouTube? It's Lamar Brown, Solid Foundations Ministries. I'm back, man. Hey, check it out. I see some stuff that really been bothering me a lot. I just wanted to share it, man, and put it on the record. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here truck driving. I'm out of here on the East Coast, right? And on the East Coast, they got a lot less, more truck stops on the freeways than the highways, right? Uh, considered to like back on the West, you know, that's all we got is like semi truck stops. Out here, they got a mixture of both. They got gas stations uh, that have uh, showers there. You know what I'm saying? And they also too have semi truck stops. So they got a mixture of both because out here, they got a lot of uh, turnpikes. Turnpikes meaning like, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a toll roads, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta pay for the tolls. And all on the toll roads out here, that's all they got. On the toll roads, they got a mixture of truck stops and a mixture of like gas stations that have like restaurants inside of them. restaurants meaning like a Burger King, a Carl's Jr. They call Hardee's out here in certain uh, rural areas in different states. Uh, they got pizza out here. Uh, Starbucks is usually inside of these uh, uh, gas stations. You know what I'm saying? 7-Elevens with like uh, with showers for for the truck drivers, and the showers are free. You know, if, if, if you go to a truck stop, showers cost, you know what I mean? Showers cost anywhere from, uh, nowadays, you know, $11 to $18, I think, nowadays. All depending on what truck stop you go to. But these trucks, but these uh, showers that are available are free. And, uh, but you gotta uh, 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 supply your own towels, and you know, your own uh, like soap, body wash and uh, sh uh, shampoo but um, yeah y'all so I'm gonna make sure that I don't get off topic but what I've been seeing out here all throughout the East Coast and the Midwest every freaking ad that's on these billboards while you're driving on the freeways and the highways out here all these dang ads man it's nothing but fast food nothing but terrible bad food pizza you know what i'm saying freaking hamburgers you know they got pictures of of a juicy old hamburger with like a whole bunch of french fries on the side and it, it looks good i'm not even gonna lie they also do have a whole bunch of billboards with ice cream and you know baskin robbins you know they'll have like the, the, the like a pretty picture of ice cream just scoop perfectly in like a cup with, with the spoon, you know, sticking out, out of it. Like, just looking, like, really good, man. And, uh, you know, that right there, when you see it, it make you want to eat it as a truck driver. And me, I'm cautious, conscious on what I'm putting in my body day in and day out. I'm training, y'all. Even though I'm out here on this road, I'm training. I'm lifting weights six days a week. You know, I'm really, really, really... Uh, serious about my physique and my health. You know, I ain't gonna be out here fat, looking all fat and slobby. You know what I'm saying? That's unacceptable. And a lot of people might not uh, agree with me, but that's unacceptable, y'all. You gotta, you gotta make yourself accountable day in and day out. What you putting in your mouth? If you working out, work. What I'm talking about working out is meaning any type of exercise throughout the day while you're driving on the road. You know what I'm saying? Any type of exercise. Anyone can get it in. Anyone can walk. Look, I, don't, I, I haven't even worked out today. And I've, 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 I've already walked 3,500 steps, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, uh, I didn't burnt, I 
and walk almost the dang near two miles, I didn't burn close to 1,000 calories today. And I've been sitting here driving inside the truck pretty much the whole day. But when I do go outside and stop at a truck stop, I'm walking around the truck. I'm doing as much walking as I possibly can. This is even before my workouts. So I know me, if I could get 10,000 steps in before I even start working out, there's no excuses. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. If I could get 7,000 to 10,000 walks, steps in on a daily basis before I start my workouts, there's no reason why y'all y'all can't do that either. Everyone out there should be doing. It. Man, we're not getting we're not getting younger. Everyone is getting older day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share that y'all. You know, it's crazy how all these fast food joints, you know, that they put inside all these truck stops, man. They can put they could put they can easily put better um, health options, better restaurants, better fast food chains in these truck stops than just McDonald's, than just Burger King, than just Hardee's or Carl's Jr., than just Arby's. You know what I'm saying? And 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 people are gonna look at this video and be like, oh well, um, they got Subway there. And, uh, oh, uh, what else? Uh, they, they got Subway there. You know, Subway is great, but that only goes so far. Oh, we got Denny's there. Yeah, but if you think about it, for one plate at Denny's, now, nowadays, one, 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 uh, what is it? Uh, one plate at Denny's is going to cost you 13 to $15 nowadays. I remember when I used to go to Denny's day in and day out. Well, not day in and day out, but earlier in my truck driving career. I've been driving for 13 years. But earlier in my truck driving career, there would be stuff on Denny's menu, a, a full meal to where you could buy for seven, seven to eleven dollars. You know what I mean? Nowadays, that's unheard of. You know, and, and inflation on un, un, un skyrocket. You know, taxes and in uh in, in, in fast food and restaurants and went sky high to the roof like everything nowadays is taxed i remember back in the days you could um uh, uh buy a, uh, a a spicy chicken sandwich from mcdonald's or from carl's jr or hardy's for 99 cents after tax after taxes it would be a dollar and eight cents same thing like the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. Everything used to be 99 cents. But if you used to buy one um, one item, it would literally be a dollar eight after tax. So I would come with a dollar eight and buy that one product that I wanted <laughs> and be about the store. It's crazy. Nowadays, a spicy chicken sandwich from Carl's Jr. or Hardee's is dang near $4 just for the sandwich. And you're not getting no fresh fries or, or no drink, none of that. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. So yeah, y'all, they, they gotta put better, uh, uh, better, uh, better choices in these, uh, in these fast food chains. At these truck stops for us as truck drivers, you know, because man, it's getting hard. It, I mean, if you look at the average truck driver, he's he's out of shape. He's fat, out of shape. Pull up to a truck stop, you know. I'm not trying to judge people because my body is not perfect, but at the same time, I ain't trying to be fat. I'm trying to hold myself accountable day in and day out. <laughs> I gotta do better. I'm trying to be the best version of myself, day in and day out. And I ain't gonna do it 
by being fat and out, out of shape and fat and sloppy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this, what I'm saying, is hurting, it, uh, is going to hurt somebody's feelings. And, uh, it's just unfortunate, you know? If that's the case, if you feel some type of way about what I'm saying, do something about it. Fix what you're, fix what you're eating because obviously what I'm, what I'm saying to you is hurting you. If you didn't care and if you was uh, content about your body and being fat and out of shape, you wouldn't even care what I would say because it doesn't mean anything to you. But if you feel some type of way on what I'm saying, then in the back of your mind somewhere, you know you shouldn't be overweight. You know you shouldn't be fat. So I was, I could talk about it because I was fat literally nine to 10 months ago. I was fatter probably than most of y'all that's watching this video. So I could talk about it. I've been there. I've been, I've been there to the point to where I wake up in the morning Roll my fat up, roll my fat butt out of bed, and crave cinnamon buns, cinnamon rolls, donuts, glazed donuts, <laughs> chocolate donuts, <laughs> all that creamy strawberry vanilla chocolate stuff. I was craving it. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> you get to the point to where you walk up a flight of stairs and you out of breath or you you go to the bathroom and you pee and your stomach is so big to where you can't see your private part i was there i was there when i was playing with my son at the park and i was out of shape and breathing hard and couldn't even play with my son and my son was like hey dad you have a big belly. My, my son used to pat on my belly. <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but it was embarrassing. And I was like, man, I gotta do something about this. I don't like the way this feels. So you know what? I did something about it. I mean, I'm not trying to boast or brag, but hey, you put in the work long enough, you gonna see the results. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, I got those guns. <laughs> I got those guns, y'all. So, hey, that's what it's about. Hey, it's about working hard day in and day out. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? And being the best version of yourself. So, hey, hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for staying this long, watching this video. Man, I'll see you. I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, I apologize for not putting out consistent content, but man, I've been busy. I'm in a new truck, brand new company. I'm doing good, y'all. I'm blessed. Also, too, I'm gonna create a video on what God has done for me from my last video, <laughs> where I was telling you guys about uh, being stranded in the truck to now, man. A lot has happened. Great. I got to give him all the glory, all the honor, and the praise, y'all. So, hey, keep the faith, you guys. Hopefully, you know, um, hopefully y'all doing good out there, man. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you on the next video, man.